Chemical Engineering is definitely a tough major, but I think that at the end, the reward of being able to know that you can choose whatever field in the world you want to work in and work with that degree, I think it's definitely worth that four years of hard work. I serve as the president of the American Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. I co-founded the Friends of Doctors Without Borders, the secretary of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, engineering field representative of the Tabeta Phi Engineering Honor Society, delegate for the Model UN, as well as being a member of the Student Advisory Board. Being busy, it's definitely, it can get you stressed out sometimes, but sometimes it kind of feels nice. That stress, that adrenaline rush kind of keeps you moving, keeps you going because you always have something to do. Of course, having free time is nice, but I think being busy kind of gives you that kind of momentum to push forward and to always keep going. Uh, I cannot deny that there's a gift from God with all my abilities, but it definitely takes hard work. The hard work and the resilience of always pushing through, knowing that you might have to sacrifice some things, that resilience builds up and that allows you to you know, push forward, persevere, and accomplish great things. So over the summer, I was an intern at Rice University, where I worked on cancer research. And then the fall semester was an opportunity to present at a conference at Rice University. And I presented my research and I was awarded best presentation for the entire section. After winning the best presentation award, I had the opportunity to attend and present at several other conferences. So I went to the Cardiometabolic Health Congress in Boston, a visitation program at Purdue University. After that, I went to Jacksonville for the Student Activism Conference, the AT Student Conference in Phoenix, a visitation program at North Carolina State. Over winter break, I had the great opportunity to be invited to fly all the way across the world to Saudi Arabia, where I was presenting at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology's undergraduate research competition. We did all these fun things and I got to present my research and meet a lot of new friends. So I've been conducting research every semester here at New Mexico State, thanks to the Alliance for Minority Participation AMP program. Then I also participate with an online program from the NSF, the Engineering Enrichment Initiative, E3. And that program allows me to take certifications online, paid for, and then they pay me. So it's kind of, it's a win-win-win. And then of course the Dean's Office, the College of Engineering, also provides a lot of support for students um, in terms of peer mentoring, in terms of uh, academic achievement to ensure that we can always achieve our goals. So I first decided to pursue chemical engineering because my major here at NMSU in high school at Arrowhead Park, the early college. And the reason I did this is because chemical engineering I said is a nice pathway to branch into medical school. Um, chemical engineering provides you with a lot of the life skills and critical thinking capabilities that medical school admissions board look into and that can help you as a practicing physician. Without hard work and perseverance and patience, you cannot be able to cultivate this gift. So even if you don't have the gift of hard work, you can achieve even much better than what I could have. My name is Mohammed Abdelhamid Bedoui and I'm an Aggie engineer.